Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what is manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any and what you need to know so whenever you do see this it will be the right time but as always take what resonates and leave out the rest practice using your own discernment and don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on all social media tiktok instagram I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms, and if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below with the link to my website, spirituallygoldie.com, for you to view the different options for readings. Also, today I am using the Divinely Connected Candle by Journey of Atman. It is Reiki-infused, so it does enhance the third eye in case you're interested in one of your own candles. I'll leave all of that information in my description box. Okay, so, wow. The world in your energy. There is a massive chapter that is coming to its end. Lessons learned. You've learned a lot of lessons. You learned along a lot along the way. And you are... I see you working through certain fears. It says work through your fears. You could be releasing certain things. In this new beginning, This these fears are not coming with you. Okay? These fears have stopped you from taking action towards the things that you have wanted before. And it's not. It's, it doesn't belong in this new chapter of yours. I'm hearing this new chapter, you're going to find the confidence... In yourself to to take action and start new things where prosperity lies starting things that really are, are, are things that you've always wanted to do but maybe didn't have the confidence or the courage to do it before but now it's like you're getting out of your own way you're saying no I'm not going to get in my own way when it comes to opportunities that I actually want, that I actually want to have in my life. It says don't let pride get in your way. And pride can 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 stop us from seeing things clearly, seeing things from a different perspective. Sometimes pride, it will come into our mind, our ego mind, and create assumptions that are not reality, that is a misconception. So this new chapter is you releasing these misconceptions about yourself, about your own abilities. It's like, you're just, I really like this for you because you're, you're looking at yourself like, if they can do it, why can I do it? Yeah. No more holding on to all of these different variables that or core beliefs that isn't actually reality here because you there is something that is really protected for you here. We have temperance and I do feel like you have your guides surrounding you in this new chapter that are guiding you and assisting you here, communicating with you. There's a lot of good news coming in. I see money. It says prosperity lies ahead. So in this new chapter, there it's going to be very prosperous. You're going to find yourself you're going to find yourself with resources, new opportunities a lot easier than before because now this time you're not stopping yourself. It's like you're actually taking action. I'm also seeing a new beginning, a new relationship. So a new romantic cycle is starting for you. We have the lovers. So even in relationships, 
I see there's been times that you've stopped yourself from maybe talking to people that you've always wanted to talk to or that you, you wanted to have some sort of relationship with or you thought, why would they want to talk to me? Or it's, again, it's like coming with, with all these assumptions. I'm hearing dream person. You are meant to be with your dream person. And it's going to become more and more clear. It's going to become more and more clear um, once you like get out of your own way, which I see is already manifesting. It's already, it's already manifesting here for you. The end of a tough cycle. Yeah, four of wands. Celebrations are ahead. Stability is ahead. You may be moving to a new home. You may be finding yourself completely renovating your life, move, moving across the world, moving to a new home or to a new city or just traveling more in general, going to places that you've always wanted to go to but maybe were too afraid to go and go see. Hmm. I'm hearing traveling alone. I see you traveling alone. Or some of you are going to be doing things alone for a while that actually ends up leading you to this new romantic relationship in your life. Yeah. There's something really transformative about this. It, there is a gift coming in. You, you are being promised a gift here. Okay. Yeah, because, because I feel like... I feel as though, or from what I'm seeing, you've you've dealt with like a not so great situation with someone else who's maybe been very sneaky, deceitful, dishonest, or didn't have the best of intentions, and. Like, that is now done. It's like, now that we, we can now let that go. And I see you really reaping rewards. Really focus on working towards your independence. And again, the Nine of Pentacles, she is someone who is independent. She, she can take care of herself. She can take care of her own. And this is also going along with why I saw somebody really doing something on their own or traveling on their own. Like, you're just really focused on yourself. As you're focusing on yourself, you're not even worried. I see you not even being worried about what does or doesn't work out. It's like you're just doing your thing. You're just you're just creating what you know you're meant to create. You're just doing what's in your purpose. Not worried about what other people are doing. Not worried about how this looks like to other people, but you're just worrying about yourself at this point. You're just doing yourself right now, and I really like this energy for you. Someone is coming towards you, okay? You do have someone coming towards you. Someone new, someone new is coming towards you. But if you do have someone on your mind, think of them and let's take a look and see what their energy is saying. How are they feeling right now? I just like slow down. <laughs> so I feel like I'm, I'm taking that as a sign. Um, slow down. This person either moves slow or they've like suddenly slowed down or they're saying slow down. Oh, a decision. Waiting before making a decision. I feel like somebody is waiting before making a decision in, in regards to you here. Um, I see this person is wanting to fight, though. They, 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 are, they have it in them that they want to um, fight for, for this and, the, and end a tough cycle. And have a successful outcome here with you. So this person feels like there can be a successful outcome. And they do want to come in and show you a lot of attention. This person does want to show you a lot of attention. 
Ooh, ooh, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Their intentions are really stable. They're very secure and they're very stable. And this is somebody who is really loyal. You have a loyal love coming towards you. Queen of Pentacles. So they intend to be supportive for you. They intend to support you. They intend to nurture you, to heal. I do see this person as going through their own healing process, ending a tough cycle in their own life, um, but wanting to wanting to take a leap of faith towards you. Um, the fool. So they, this is how they're seeing you. They are seeing you as somebody who is like really like carefree. Um, uh, you're doing what you want and you're, you're somebody who takes risks. But this is, this person likes that about you. Interesting. So this also, person also does see you as maybe, um, showing them that you are taking time for yourself or taking time to rest and heal at the, at this time. Four of Swords. Okay, yeah. Maybe you're taking a break from work or you're traveling somewhere and they see that. But they, they're they patient. Their actions is them being patient and waiting for you. Waiting for you. What's that song? I will wait for you. I will wait for you. There's this one song that's that's coming up and I'm not going to sing it because I'm not here to embarrass myself, okay? <laughs> but if you know, you know. Okay, it has Drake in it. So a decision, a decision. I'm seeing the signs Scorpio, Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Gemini. You could have any of those signs in your chart, or you could be dealing with any of those signs. It could be any of those signs that's coming towards you. But they want you to make a decision um, coming from the heart. Coming from the heart. Make a decision that, that comes from the heart and not from pride. True love. Making decisions based off true love. Your heart is leading you in the right direction here. Yeah, they're saying your heart is leading you in the right direction. These fears is is only it has only held you back or is only going to delay or hold you back. Um, and you're going to find yourself being led to a prosperous outcome by making decisions from the heart. Okay. Tell me about this new opportunity here. There's good news. There's good news ahead. Yeah, no more waiting. The wait is over. It's long deserved. And we got a king. We got a king over here. King of cups. King of cups. And again, two of swords reverse. Decisions are being made. Decisions are being made real soon. You have, I, I see a, re, a new relationship. You are going to find yourself in a new relationship. Communication. Communication is coming in. Tell me about this communication. Oh, we got a king of wands. Two. You have two choices. You have two people. One of them is going to be more secure, more stable. This person is going to be really, really emotionally available to you. You're just going to feel like a really mature energy from this person. That's how you'll know who they are. Okay, I'm seeing the number 621. Yeah, 66. You may be seeing... Um, sixes a lot. I'm seeing the letters W, F, E, C, D, P, K. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.